Hi guys. Today we are here to learn number systems. Number systems are also called as pure arithmetic. Now we encounter several numbers in our day to day activities. Let's pick some examples. 1, 2, 3, 4, 0, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so on. Say more numbers such as root 2, root 3, root 5, etc. 1 by 2, minus 2 by 3, and several numbers. So since we encountered all these numbers in our day-to-day -day activities, it's important for us to learn how to categorize these numbers into different categories. And number systems, or pure arithmetic, is actually learning about categorizing these numbers. We'll start with the numbers with which we are more familiar. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. These are called natural numbers. Natural numbers are denoted by the letter capital N. So let me just write natural numbers. We also have 0 and together 0 and natural numbers we have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So these are called as whole numbers. Whole numbers are denoted by capital W. While we're talking about all positive numbers, we need to also speak about negative numbers. So let me write the negative numbers here. Minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. It just goes on. So these numbers are called as negative integers. Together, whole numbers and negative integers are called as integers. So that will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and so on. And to the left side of the 0, we've got negative 1, negative 2 and so on. And these are called as integers. And integers are denoted by the capital letter Z. Now fractions are also called as non-integral rationals or non-integral rational numbers. Three by two, eleven by nineteen, minus one by two, and minus two by three. These are all called as non-integral rational numbers. So integers and fractions together are called as rational numbers. Zero, three, five by two, and negative two, minus two by three, etc. All these grouped together are called as rational numbers. And rational numbers are largely denoted by the capital letter Q. Now while we are speaking about the rational numbers, let us see some other kind of numbers which are called as irrational numbers. So some numbers like root 2 minus root 3, root of 1 by 5, root of 15 and so on. These are called as irrational numbers. And irrational numbers are denoted by capital letter P. All together, we have the real numbers. Everything put together, we've got this group called as the real numbers. And real numbers are denoted by the capital letter R. So all rational and irrational numbers make up the collection of real numbers. Let's take the example of number 4. Now, number 4 is a natural number. It is also whole numbers. It is also an integer and it is a rational number and it is a real number too. So now let's consider another example which is negative 4. Negative 4 does not belong to natural numbers. It does not belong to whole numbers but it does belong to integer. It is a negative integer. It is a rational number and also it is a real number. So therefore negative 4 is a real number. 